All right, so what will my evil son of a bitch character be? What will he look like? Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> I guess this guy he can be evil. Face shape. First off, what are with all the goddamn freckles? Alright, um, this doesn't really affect that all that much. Looks like he's got some bags under his eyes. He needs some sleep. That's fair enough for me. Hey, these glasses? We're not gonna wear glasses. Come on. Alrighty. What kind of hairstyle do we want? Okay. Whoa! It's kind of weird head on. I can. Uh, huh, interesting. That's some tall ass hair. What is this, the Patrick Mahomes? I like, like this style, but I also don't like it at the same time. We'll go with this. Oh, we can have funky hair colors. Yay. Stupid. Alright. Oh, yeah, now I really look like a Malfoy. Do we want any scars? Sheesh. That's a weird looking scar. Alright. Little tiny cut there. We can do this big one across the face. Oh, we can do eyebrows too, huh? Ah, uh, the unibrow. Really screams evil. God damn. I'm just sitting here for the time I have been. I don't know how long I can do this. Oh. Fucking back kills. Alright, so <laughs> I'm definitely not going to go with the unibrow. I have to look at this the entire time I play. And I don't know if you can... Uh, change your hairstyles and shit when you're in game. Ooh, no eyebrows. Really go for the Voldemort look. If you can change your look throughout the game, maybe something I'd consider doing. I'm gonna have to go lay on the floor. Or take my... Uh, I got some ibuprofen around here somewhere. I can take. Maybe that'll help. Okay, voice. Huh? Wait, did I even choose my eye color? I can choose my eyebrow. My eyebrow color. Alright. Should we just have black eyes? Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. What the fuck? That was quite something. Two voices you can have? I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That sounds exactly like Harry Potter. Cobwebs and some dust. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Why, when you go lower on the pitch, it sounds more robotic. I need to get to Hogsmeade. What? I am indeed a student, but I a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Why the hell do you sound like a robot? It was wonderful. I believe I'm. Re that was quite something. 
I'm eager to get dog. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this. That was quite something. Is it just me? Does that sound really weird? I think it sounds really weird. Oh, sorry about that. I had to go lay on the floor. My back was really I fucking with me. <laughs> Alright, we'll go, uh... I mean, we're gonna go hard. Why not, right? Oh! Character name. Needs to be something... Something here. What could it be? Grima Wormtongue. Sounds like a Harry Potter type name. Dream or worm tongue? Ace, I think you are onto something here. Could I be Gream or worm tongue? And what is up, Zach? How you doing? It's been a long time, Zach. Gream or worm tongue? Hmm. I like it. All right, we are wizard. Got in a pursuit last night. Who are you? Did you catch him? All right. Start my journey as Grima Wormtail. Whoa, here we go. Uh, it appears we are almost ready to depart. Oh, my back. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destination than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, very menacing look back there. What's he worried about? Here we go. All right. Nope, we disengaged once they got into the city. They were going over 115. That's fast. 115 in the city? That's quick. That is quick. But it is very much... It's very fun to uh, get into pursuits. I've had a couple. But it is highly discouraged. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, so what has he been doing before? Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, 
He's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is what was a that? significant threat. And <coughs> it was your wife, Eliazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died. Wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. That was a Dementor? It was the last thing she It looked like a wing. Eliazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That's so maybe one of those uh I don't see one of those horse things that only people who've seen the death can uh, see. Uh maybe. I don't know. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did Oh, that is definitely not a Dementor or uh, one of those things that only people who've seen death can see. That's a dragon. Well, that escalated quickly. The key. Give me your hand. God damn. Actually, do things now. Heal. Got my controller. Healing up. I need some of that potion right now. Fix my back. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor. So, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Think I looked around enough? I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Should I have gone that way? Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything, you know? I already have a wand. Don't I have to go to the wand shop to get my wand first? Nothing to really do or interact with in here. So I guess there's only one direction to go. Wow. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. 
The portkey was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that portkey to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, this looks like a pretty, pretty clear path. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? Oh my! Yeah. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Can I play this on my couch? <laughs> Ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, it's a steep fall. This way. Don't trip! Don't trip! Oh, we gotta go this way, huh? There! Sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Well, that looks a little, uh, ominous. It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. What are we gonna do? Basic cast. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Use your camera to select an active target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in settings. Okay. What the? Hey, I broke a pot. A little bit. Can I do anything other than just blast shit? Improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Can I hit him? Well, guess not. Ah, all right. Okay, so we can climb like Assassin's Creed. We're close now. It's just ahead. Well, now I need to know what's over here. Nothing. Oh, a chest. Can't get by me. Well, holy shit. Now that's a that's a spell. <laughs> Almost there. Can you show me how to do that? <laughs> DPW could use this fucking spell. 
fix up some potholes quick. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Thought he led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Like all these pots? Ha! Minimap shows your surroundings. With you as the purple arrow in the middle. This is your current objective. Press up on the D-pad to toggle quest objectives. Alright. Okay. <laughs> oh. Interaction. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Doesn't seem like an evil start. Oh, I can't hurt anybody yet. I mean, these pots definitely are going to think I'm evil. That's for sure. No pot shall escape my fury. Uh, nothing that way. What are you looking at? Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Yeah, I can't hurt him. I guess I'm not supposed to. He's supposed to teach me things. Then I'll hurt him. Although, you see the way he fixed that bridge? I don't know if I'm going to be able to hurt this guy at all. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Can it go away? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Is this the room of requirement? Oh no. It's the bank. <laughs> Might be the main villain. It can't be. Maybe he is. It's all a dis it's all a Ploy. Uh, just a moment. A trick. <laughs> Mr. Fig is the big bad guy. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you.
A little bit of a slow start so far, but it's all right. I can't do anything. I'm not going to skip it. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. Whew. As we speak, we're just beneath the main... Where did I put those painkillers? Our private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. I'll find I'm something. Going. Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Kicks in and helps alleviate some of this back pain I'm having. How'd you know I was here for Vault 12? Oh, oh, well, I'm. Thought I saw something over there. Am I loaded? Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Oh, I see something right here. Oh, somebody left their gold out. You didn't see me take that, did you? What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Good luck. Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Well, that's Let's interesting. Think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh. Steady your wand with the left analog and guide it along the symbol path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Ah! Hey! I did it. Rebellion. 
There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I Nothing saw else in the key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Hey, why don't you teach me how to Lumos? Good night, brother. Muster Station. Well, good night to you too, Muster Station. Thank you for stopping by. Can you teach me how to do Lumos? Revelio. I got Revelio. That's that's it. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. What the hell? Below, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Hmm. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast a little moss. Hmm. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Easy. It required the one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted to your spell set. Hold RT and tap Y to extinguish, to cast or extinguish Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh, there's something he needs to hit something, maybe. Oh, no, he's standing up. Well, this don't look good. I need some of those spells. Oh! Ah! Come on. Somebody gonna take a swing at me? Oh, he took a swing at me. Wow. 
I'm getting fucked up. Whew. That got intense. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't able to always tell when somebody was going to come after me. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. I can't see. Lumos. Oh. I can see now. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, but I want to know where everything else is. I guess it doesn't work like that. It's just going to be an endless... What? Oh, chest. Now, there's got to be more chests around here somewhere. Does it just keep going endlessly? Until I follow the path? I guess. Probably. <clears throat> Alright, fine game. I'll play by your rules. Ah, that's where they're leading me. I glow again. Look, a chest. Lumos. I need to align these. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Oh, dear. Y during pr Proteco to stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies can take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. Ah! There's so many of them! That, that did not... Oh dear. Oh. Oh boy. Ah! You guys are mean. Could have sworn I hit the button. Maybe I hit it too soon. Ow! How am I not dead? Holy shit! I need health. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. 
Just looking for chests. Don't mind me. Doesn't look like there's any other chests. Oh, there's a chest. Fifty six gold. We rich. Ooh, another chest. 66 gold. Now we're rolling in it. Alright, what do we got here? My back hurts. I think you might be right. He's the villain. Place. I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow. That surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. Yeah, you suspicious. Yeah, I got my suspicions too. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you. It seems are the key to understanding why we were rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, 
sir. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the I have no patience for traitors. Well. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Well, that's a big guy. Those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Character's backstory is a mystery. You don't say. Some of the audio sounds real weird. Audio sounding weird to you? Because to me, it sounds really strange. I, I just skipped something. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. Yeah, a little uh, laggy here right now. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I oh. need to lock it as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what <clears throat> happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you of course. and me. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, boy. to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Big choice is coming up here. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to start class. I can't wait to explore. Yeah, fuck class. I, I hate school. to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. I detect something in you. you a detect? certain sense of... Mm. What is it? Daring, ambition, uh, daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Hmm. If I'm evil, I would say it's either daring or ambition to go with. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. The Sorting Ceremony. The Sorting Hat will take your choice into account when sorting you into your house. Well, that was pretty, like, I figured it would ask more questions to kind of really dive into, like a, almost like a, <clears throat> one of those tests you can take to determine your personality type and all. I figured it would have had more questions, but we just said two things and get right into it. I guess you just go Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin. One more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. Hey, um, anticlimactic, certainly. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. 
As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, oh. but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Yeah, nice snake. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. <clears throat> sleep well. What the fuck? What is with this, the like the ambient sounds? Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right, let's. So is this little uh, dorm room, common room. You're gonna find the common room. Rebellion. Anything in here I can uh, open? No, doesn't seem so. Wait. Ooh, yum. <laughs> Fuck your books. Let's go into the common room. Is this the right door? Very up close. There we go. I suppose some introductions are in order. Introduce yourself. Sebastian Salo. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Salo. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Fix who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience, nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you 
saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Okay. One convo down, two more to go. Bear, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> no, <coughs> Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kogawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Jeez, she really likes her broom. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much to sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. All right, Miss Know It All. Take the fun out of everything. Ominous Gaunt. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Dark mermaids find us that interesting. Oh. Based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice Are to you meet blind? You. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. We're not gonna any make any comments on whether or not he's blind. I'm just gonna avoid that. Were you expecting to be sourced into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood state. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Alright. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Why is the Slytherin common room in the basement? We're underground. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Like, where would this water be? Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Tell her I'm busy. <laughs> Spinning this globe. I'm telling you my control is dying on me already. Hated if my 
Oops. He ran into that pot and broke it. Holy shit, these are lots of stairs. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming. I don't remember going to bed. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary. They better not give me homework. Success. I don't do my homework in real life. I gotta do homework in a video game. What do I not need all those pages? Wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Where the hell did I put it? Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Ooh, a chest. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your survival. What is this? When does evil start? Yeah, I'm wondering the same thing. Interesting. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? And see what details the field Rebellion. guide provides. Kelpie statue. The statue depicts the Kelpie, Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie, Kelpie, ever reported is the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. Oh, interesting. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Field guide challenges are the only way you way to acquire experience points or XP. Okay. This is your wizarding level XP. Earn from challenges, increases... Ah, XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge. Category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Okay. Each challenge has tiers, special rewards. Unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Okay. Rewards must be claimed within the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Okay. Uh, chest right here, though. Keep your eyes open for more hey. Opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. 
Can I not, uh... Okay. I'll be back for you. timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. What? So I got you. Yo. Joey's gonna hear me? Yeah, he's recording. You've discovered a flu flames. Fast travel point. You can open up Open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. All right. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where the students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and great hall. Select the grand staircase region to continue. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house, common room. Gray flu flames reveal the locations of undiscovered flames. Well, it would have been nice if you let me discover this when we were leaving my common room. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouse. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall flu flames for you. Use right analog to rotate the map and fast travel to the Central Hall flu flames with X. Oh boy. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wonderful. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Sounds so Charles, weird. Jesus, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become Aurors. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. Pubs! You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade you will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. 
Thank Bada beer. You, Weasley. A lot Getting to drunk. On your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. My suspicion that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh, there is, in fact. I'm afraid there isn't. I don't even know. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Pig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics Taught of Taught me two class. spells. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there. Revelio and the, the Lumas spell. Aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide map? Of Mr. Fig is evil, Thank I'm calling it. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. So Come you're find stalking me. In my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. What supplies do I need? Underwear? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley? Vada Kedavra. Yeah, I need to learn that Exploring real quick. Words. Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well sketchy. trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not so subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. You want me to do what? Open my map. All right. This represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. You might have taken a polyjuice potion or something. Uh, some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the 
You will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Okay. Defense against the Doc Ots class. A field guide map shows Professor Hecat's class in the lower section of the astronomy wing. I could get lost in this castle. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find my way. We got Accio and Leviosa. Oh. So you think he's somebody else? Maybe. What should we do first? Charms class or defense against the dark arts? Do we want Wingardium Leviosa? Or do we want Accio? I think we can uh oh, go back over to the game. There we go. Er not Oh here we go. I guess let's do defense against the dark arts first. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Alright. Okay. Um. Yeah! Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. He I'm sounds so weird. Me, sounds I'm like a little distracted at the moment. Robotic. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. 
I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Revelio. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. Hey, a chest. Ooh. Rugged dueling gloves. Nice find. How do I equip that? Gear. I like it. I got no face wear. I thought I got things for, uh, you know, getting the whole early access and now it doesn't look like I got anything fancy what <laughs> I guess you can take your clothes off This ain't going the right way. Alrighty. I thought maybe maybe this way. Central Hall Fountain. Okay. Oh, something down there. Oh, this is uh, what we were just looking at. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Oh, yeah. Now what? Ha. I Whoop. knew there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Or I don't tell her and keep the secret to myself. She was right above me. What do I have to tell her? She she would have seen it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? <laughs> I'm afraid I can't tell you, Lenora. Surely you jest. You should have worked it out on your own. You have nerve. 
Especially <laughs> since I'm the one who told you about it in the first place. Imagine solving a riddle that I mentioned and then not telling me the answer. Practically competing with an elder to see who's a more infuriating know it all. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Anything over here? Ooh, something down there. Can I jump off the stairs? Yeah, there we go. Ah. with you. Do I need to get like, uh, maybe I need Accio. <sighs> I need to learn more spells probably. Where is I supposed to be going again? Not through there, it seems. Potions classroom. Where the fuck am I? This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a whatever on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather, despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan. This is the most assuredly not meant to be this is most assuredly not meant to be the I don't know what that word is. Of whatever slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Sure. Ooh. Handy resources. And some more of that. You're welcome. You guys juggling. Ooh, a chest. Ooh, a lock. This painting depicts a young orphan wizard, Elias, who famously saved his entire village from an army of Dementors in the dark wizard Residian by conjuring a mouse Patronus. Okay. Thought I saw something over here. Guess not. I think I need these other these skills though before I can really uh, do much else. That looks like something. There we go. Let's begin my dark arts training. Professor Hackett, perhaps 
to be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Leviosa. Leviosa. A levitation charm. Leviosa. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. All right, we got to learn Levioso. I'm a natural. Levioso. Let's try something a little larger. Don't forget to get the Twitch drops. You have to watch a streamer with drops on. I don't know what that means, uh, Magic. What is Twitch drops? I don't, uh, I'm not all that familiar with, uh, with Twitch. Perform... A basic cast using right trigger. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Levioso. Good. Now, the basic. Well done. Oh, yeah. I'm a natural. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, yeah, here we go. Protego. You're good. How perceptive. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Woo! Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelow's entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, God. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Well, that was an easy class. If you know the right spell, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Oh, they'll fear me. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Now for Plumley. There's Steve Urkel over here. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. 
Didn't seem very strong at all. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count the teacher's walking right by. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether Teacher's going to be literally right next to us. <laughs> or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Teacher's right there. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Hey, Professor, you didn't hear any of that, did you? No, I guess not. You were only standing right next to us. I hate to face Professor Heck, it's no deal. Alright. So we have the Leviosa spell. Let's go get ourselves Accio now. Oh, I'm sure there's something here to reveal. Hmm, maybe not. Something's dinging. Where's the digging? Hmm. Maybe it just always does that sound. Hey, found another field guide. Hmm, were your character's memories wiped? Maybe. I do just find it odd that why would you be starting your fifth year? Like, where were you that entire time before? Did you not realize you were a wizard? Did you not have Hagrid there to tell you you're a wizard? Was I going the right way? This class up here? Ooh. What are you up to now? Oh, what do we got here? Rebellion. Oh, no, we need uh Lumos. Lumos. Hmm. Have we seen this area? No, I'm not sure. I just want to get to this next class.
Where the hell's the class? Hey, a cat! Oh, I'm petting the cat. Hello, just uh, coming into this chest. Hey, a floral, flora fedora. What the hell? Is this a bathroom or? I feel like there's something more going on here. Professor Figs class. Well, this doesn't look like Professor Figs classroom. Well, you don't look friendly. I thought I was tracking the, uh, my next class. Hmm. Alright, I was going the wrong way, it seems. Oh, no, I just had to keep going up a bit more. Oh, wait, so, so these are clearly, it's a puzzle.
What is this? Oh, wants me to go to the classroom. I guess I'll go to class now. Student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning job? Hmm? Hmm. Alright, what are we doing? <laughs> it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone ah, yes. Pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right, steady your wand with L. Okay, yep. Fairly easy. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking. Might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. You have to watch a streamer with drops on, so open another browser for Twitch and click on your name, then scroll down to drops. Then find a streamer showing Hogwarts drops and watch and keep claiming them hand hand the when they become available. Sure I don't I still don't know what that means. <laughs> so what better than a bit of like, why would I do that? My back. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres. Four new skins today. Like in the Hogwarts skins for Hogwarts. Now, All right. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it will fall. Yes. Now I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. Okay.
Oh, that was pretty simple. Very good. Mm. Can we get this last one under the fifty? That's it. Stop. Happens to the best of us. Ah! Let me do it again. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. Wow. Can I get more practice first? Jeez. Play it safe. Do not think I was that going easy on you, or try to hit her balls. A perfect score. Remarkable. Mm-hmm. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Tied up. What you gonna do about that? Interesting. Stop! Go right into your other balls. Now, as long as I don't drop this one, I win. Oh, yeah. Admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. 
took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Uganda? Uganda Knuckles? This may seem an old question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand? Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I mm. must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating. And what the fuck are we doing here? To me. It always felt like home. <laughs> is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. Wow. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, but you know it won't work on humans. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. <coughs> you don't say. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. You don't say. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hmm. Jeez, thanks. Extra work. Thought I said I didn't want to do homework. Oh, where's this door go? Hmm. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Ah! Oh. 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 Rebellion. Alrighty.
Hey. Oh, it's that lock. And the chest in there. And a chest over there. I will find how to get these things. It's the cat again. It's a weird looking cat. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Mm. My controller's not working. Alright. Now what does this mean? We got three, zero, question mark, and a five. We had a unicorn, 12, a four, and two question marks. I'm not smart enough to understand these things. Was something. Space. Another one.
Revelio. Fast travel to here now. My dear, whatever the hell that says. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer, both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym from my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity. The reason irks me. I am so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar. Jantar Mantar. What an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love. Secrudia. Whatever. Okay. Alright. I don't know what that was all about. Revelio. Can't open that yet. Oh. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. It just keeps going up. Heard something. Revelio. Oh, another one of these. What was it? Lumos. Ah, Lumos. Hmm. Telescope. Wonder where this is. Revelio. Not a slide, it's a staircase. Hey, an owl. Oh wait, is this, uh, is this where Dumbledore falls to his death? Revelio. Ooh, found the butterfly. One more. Revelio. All right, what did I use for this? Lumos. Ah, yes. Come with me, Mr. Butterfly. Hmm. 
Wonderful. Collect eight of eight. You mean to tell me I'm done? There's no more? Interesting. You know that? So it seems like it puts them pretty close to where you can find them. So that must have been a uh, butterfly close by to where I found that other uh, mirror thingy. Picture, whatever. Although, I don't actually remember where that was. Maybe around here somewhere. <clears throat> I've always said that travel oh, now can't I um Didn't really show me what I got. It's time to trade in my oak shaft seventy nine for a new one. Revelio. Surely they don't share a common room like the students, do they? I was going to purple try cloud out. up there. What's that all about? Was it further this way that I saw that other uh that other thing? It must be. Maybe somewhere around here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. Revelio. Oh, hey, look at that. But where do you go? Lumos. I, I don't remember where the original picture was. Must be this one. Lumos. Yep. Okay. I'm coming back. Yeah, let's go, you. Was it there? Mm. Oh yeah, right here. Bingo. Another one for the books. Getting quite good at this.
Can I equip it without it being visible? Because I don't want to wear this fedora. <laughs> It provides defense, so. Rebellion. Weasley after class. Guided me right where I need to go. Revelio. I mean, there's like a chest on the map here, but doesn't show me. Can't see anything. Well, is my mini map? Ah, I'm, I'm blocking my mini map, aren't I? Should I move where my camera is? Am I better off being up here? Maybe that's better. I don't know. Or maybe it'll just end up blocking something else. Oh, hold up. Got a uh, fiery thingy over here somewhere. How nice yeah. to see you, my young friend. Let's begin this next quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust this your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier. See that extra we've work. to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior.
Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. <laughs> I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. You know what? That's an even better solution. <laughs> now you don't have to also see me wincing in pain. And I can sit however comfortably I want. There's an Ollivanders in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Spending time? I haven't done anything with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Theophilus Once Harlow. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, ah, your friend will meet you at the castle name. doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. Anything in here for me? Speak to Professor Rowan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. All right, Rapero. Revelio. Somebody's got to tell me how to pick locks. Forty one gold. Rebellion. Seriously, I wonder what my total gold is by now. spell to teach me professor indeed i do and an exceedingly useful one at that the mending charm repero fixes things right up makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye hmm. it seems as if that might come in handy more frequently than one would imagine as professor weasley mentioned i am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers 
A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. What's the purpose of the Why task? Why first complete tasks to learn Rapero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Boy. Okay, collect flying page near the broken statue. Collect flying page in the defense against the dark arts tower. Okay. Well, at least I know how to do that now. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Well, there it is. I can't. All right. Simple enough. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Accio. Brilliant. Found you. Simple enough. I trust the preliminary to I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Alright, what am I doing? Whoops. Got distracted. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here you go. Woo! Look at that. I know Repero now. Should I go repair that statue? If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and Repair. lashed out. Revelio. Okay. Well, that seemed to be that. Ooh. Oh, is that another one of those doorways that I don't know how to open? Oh, it might be the very first one that I encountered, right? What do these meet? Look at that. Keep finding shit. Too easy. Except for these. These I do not understand at all.
This looks like it needs to be opened. I don't get it, but I will eventually. Level five wizard already. Almost level six. All right. So after quickly just watching a video, super fast. Seems I won't be able to get the curses until I finish like this, this main like storyline. Welcome to Hogsmeade. I have to do this first. Then I can get the evil curses. I think I'm missing something over here. I'm missing how to open that door. That's what I'm missing. This the uh, thing I already went into with the chest. Yep. That's where I got my gloves. Easy. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Ooh, found a chest. Gold. Got the field page guide. all that remains. What if I do a little Reparo? No. That don't work. Rebellion. Flattened armor. Yeah. Hello, Sebastian. Ah. My new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Let's do it!
I was glad Professor Weasley oh, asked hey. me to join you today. As the moving quick. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. That you should, Sebastian. That you should. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. You know, I don't remember them ever having a walk Madam Scribner, the librarian, this way to get to Hogsmeade as is often the case. in the movies. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Cool. They got three of them. And these flowers are honking. <laughs> Look more. From the forbidden forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Oh. Mushrooms. Pippin, look, it's mushrooms! Oh, wait, we're playing Harry Potter. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriff? Oh, Why we already named them, too? Prance, Hoof, and Sugarfoot? To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Mm. Ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Might have to go there soon. Damn, dude, we couldn't take a broom? Have you had much? a chance to explore the castle a little well, I'm gonna pick up some more mushrooms enormous. it is a little laggy huh? I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface loads to see places to discover oh any you'd like to share with the class perhaps one day I can't go around telling you all my secrets now can I you still haven't told Rebellion. me how you became so good at dueling wow this lag is horrible Hey, hold on, there's shit over here. Gardener's robes. No. Oh. Fuck off. Hey, asshole, get back over here. Alright, this game doesn't want to work for me. Fine. Have it your way. This lag is horrible. It wasn't lagging like this before. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. 
though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand, too. Hopefully, the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Yep. Yeah. What are those? Hold up. Moonstone, huh? Rebellion. Pet the cat. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Mm, that sounds great. Tell me, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is. Or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Here we are. Hugs me. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogs me. We all flock to Revelio. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits. Yes. Ditty me seeds, some spellcrafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. All right, we got a map of Hogsmeade here. Okay. Oh, there's Ollivanders. Potions. I guess let's get my wand out of the way, huh?
<clears throat> Revelio. Hmm. Lots of things out there, wherever that is. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm, powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm, no, not you. Uh, uh, mm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Giving him a hard time. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. Mm, okay. How intriguing. indeed how intriguing hmm curious indeed Curious indeed. How intriguing. Bootleg Elder Wand. Curious indeed. Uh, which one do you think? Which one's the bootleg Elder Wand? Is it, uh. Oh, control is not working again. God damn it. Come on. Stupid controller. How intriguing. I think this one, right? The other one looks like this, I think. 
It's been so long I, that I've seen the movies, I can't really remember. How intriguing. I wish I could kind of spin it around. What else can you do to it? Curious indeed. How intriguing. Look at that elder. Fourteen and a half inches. Curious indeed. Flexibility, unyielding. How intriguing. Quite bendy. Do these, like, does this matter? <laughs> How intriguing. Curious indeed. I think I, I either like this one, the classic gray, it's very straight one. How intriguing. Or, or the black. It's hard to tell. This one doesn't come in black. Comes in the gray. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Okay. So we're gonna go with the elder. We'll go as big as you can get. We'll go curious indeed. How intriguing. Where's your face cam at, brother? Oh, hey, crypto and coffee. Uh, I just shut my face cam off a little while ago. Uh, just because I'm, I'm trying to get comfortable. and I'm like leaning back and slouching all over the place. Because uh, I hurt my back. I don't even know how much longer I got on this, honestly. But, uh... We'll go slightly yielding. How intriguing. Yeah. Unbent. Sure. The feather of a phoenix that serves as a core of a wand capable of producing a great range of magic. The hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of a wand known for producing consistent magic. And a dragon heartstring 
that serves as the core of a wand known for producing powerful magic. Huh. Range of magic. Consistent magic. Or powerful magic. We're gonna go with power. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Yeah. Or... Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is oh. most reliable like and faithful to its owner. Phoenix feather, exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Curious indeed. Let's go with the dragon. And and you know what? I'm evil, so let's just do a black wand. How intriguing. I like that. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sense the sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions. Particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. With that, I need to save. And I gotta take a break and go give the little one a bath. So how do I save? <laughs> ah, save game. Okay. All right. So if you've been watching, thank you. Uh, let me get over here real quick again. Okay. So if you've been watching the live stream, thank you for tuning in and watching. I appreciate your support. I am going to, like I said, take a break as well as go give my little one a bath. Because uh, he needs it, and it's time for bed. So I'm already pushing it, getting kind of late here. Um, is it the main menu? Uh, yeah, exit game's fine. So hopefully next time, uh, I don't know if I'll continue streaming. I mean, I'll probably edit this into a consistent video. Um, cut out all the extra shit and then uh oh my god it hurts and then um start just uploading playthroughs of the entire experience uh playing this game and i'll make it into videos and uh and yeah and if i pick up again tonight playing it'll probably be just playing on my own and then recording it and uploading it afterwards so Again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. And uh, be sure to, if you're not already, uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube and Twitch if you're there. 
and uh, drop a like. Uh, it really helps support the channel. All right, and until next time, take care.